Norovank is a 13th century Armenian monastery located on the Amaru Valley in Vyotzor province of Armenia. It's about 122 kilometers from the capital Yerevan. This monastery was built on the ledge of narrow winding gorge above the Amaru River. The spare lines of the church contrast beautifully with the sharp red rock cliffs and the dramatic scenery is one of the best reasons to visit Noravank. The road to Noravank may seem long, but never boring. As on the way, you can admire the Armenian landscapes and stop in different villages to buy local fruits and vegetables. As almost all old monasteries in Armenia, the Noravank is situated on a hill from where you can almost touch the sky. The monastery was designed and built by Momik the architect. People back 700 years ago were aware of its magnificence when it was built on the ledge of the winding river gorge among the red cliffs. If those cliffs could talk, they would tell many great stories, including one about a man who did a good deed but did not get a reward of fun and happiness. Master Momik had fallen in love with the beautiful daughter of Prince Orbelian, the lord of Sunik province. The beauty returned his love and was completely smitten by the talented architect. When her father heard of their love, he requested Momik's company and said to him, I will give you my daughter's hand in marriage, but only if you can build a temple of incredible and unmatched beauty in less than three years. Immediately, Momik went to work, cutting huge chunks of rock, carving them into building blocks. He met the deadline in time, and as he was putting the finishing touches to the dome, while crouching on the very top of the temple, he rejoiced in anticipation of seeing his beloved. Suddenly, a man rode up to the temple, climbed up to where Momik was and pushed him off as he had been instructed to buy his master, the Prince of Sunik. Momik plummeted to the ground, clutching the last block of the dome in his hands. That stone became his tombstone. The monastic complex includes the church of St. Garabet, St. Grigor Chapel with a vaulted hall, and the church of St. Aspadazin, Holy Mother of God. And in the days when the Orpelian princes were ruling this region, the monastery was a large religious center, and in the 13th through 14th centuries, it became a residence of Sunik province's bishops. Noravang became a major religious and later a cultural center of Armenia, and was closely connected with the many educational institutes, primarily with the University of Gladzor and its library. The beauty of Noravank has never died. It has become only brighter and more brilliant. For seven centuries, its praises have been sung to the blue sky, the internal golden sun, and red mountains. <laughs>